artisan gelato. Mmm, delicious when it is freshly made. Just like espresso cafe and pizza, artisan gelato is a symbol of Italian taste all over the world. Gelato can be served in many different ways. Gelato cone. Gelato cakes. Gelato sticks. Gelato pies. And gelato takeaway. It is the healthiest dessert as well as a food that values locally procured fresh products. It is made with natural ingredients such as fruit, milk, or even hazelnuts, providing gelato with vitamins and proteins, making it a true alternative for a complete meal. This has been known for generations by Italians of all ages. Ok, but how is artisan gelato made? Let's start with the ingredients. Artisan gelato can be placed into two main categories – dairy-based gelato made with milk and sorbetto with a fruit and water base. Simple and genuine ingredients to create the ideal mixture that will soon become gelato. To make sure we have the ideal mixture, we need to balance all the ingredients. The correct mixture will have a balance between liquid and solid contents. Only in this way you can make true artisan gelato. Smooth, creamy and delicious. Now we put what we have learned into practice. Let's start by making the mixture according to our balanced recipe. It all starts from our selection of quality ingredients. And now the important step called pasteurization. We pour the mixture into the hopper and start the pasteurization process. Pasteurization is a heat treatment that makes gelato homogeneous and properly mixed. How does it work? The mixture is heated up to either 65 or 85 Celsius degrees. The mixture remains at the high temperature until it is completely sanitized. Then the mixture is rapidly cooled down to 4 Celsius degrees and it rests in conservation. The heating and rapid cooling drastically reduce any bacteria in the mixture. Here we let the mixture age anywhere from 4 to 12 hours. The aging process starts by storing the mixture in a fridge at a constant temperature of 4 Celsius degrees. The aging process can also be done dynamically by continuously stirring the mixture at 4 Celsius degrees. The milk proteins become hydrated, binding together the water molecules, absorbing them. The mixture will gain its complete structure, making the gelato smoother, creamier, softer, with a pleasing texture. If daily production exceeds 40 liters of mixture, pasteurization and aging processes can both be done by using a pasteurizer. Now, the mixture is ready to be flavored. Add the ingredient which will give us the flavor we want. In this case, we will add pistachio, that has already been made into a paste. Let's start mixing the mixture. The tabletop emulsifier is indispensable for mixing up ingredients, especially for blending and dispersing dry or high in fiber ingredients, and especially ingredients that are naturally high in fat, creating an homogeneous mix. Here is the finished mixture. But how do we transform this into gelato? Batch freezing is the process that transforms the liquid mix into gelato. We are able to craft this transformation thanks to the batch freezer machine. Alright, now we just decide the type of gelato we want to make and proceed with production. Easy! The freezing effect transforms the water molecules into tiny ice crystals that stick to other parts of the mixture. The agitator spins and serves to incorporate air into the final product, completing the desired structure of an ideal gelato. Voila! Look at how it comes out of the batch freezer. Creamy and dense with a uniform structure. The pistachio gelato is burned. Ok, but how do we make fruit sorbet? It is even simpler. All we need to do is have a balanced mix of sugar, water and fruit. We will use strawberries today. With a tabletop emulsifier, we can prepare the strawberries or mix up a strawberry paste with the other ingredients, creating an homogeneous mix. 
and we go straight to batch freezing the strawberry mixture. And look the result! Mmm, amazing! Creamy and smooth! This is a true strawberry sorbet! Are we ready to place our gelato in the showcase? No, not yet! When gelato exits the batch freezer, it is around minus 7, minus 9 Celsius degrees, and it must be quickly brought down to showcase temperature of minus 12, minus 15 Celsius degrees. To do this, we will momentarily place the gelato in the shock freezer, minus 35, minus 40 Celsius degrees. Due to this, the structure of gelato will maintain itself while on display. And now, the gelato is ready to be displayed in the showcase. Displaying the gelato is also important. The gelato must look appealing and enticing to customers by decorating the product and keeping the pan full. Decorations should be inspired by the flavor or simply an example of the primary ingredient to make the flavor more inviting. Now it is ready to be served and savored. Remember, success is also dependent on a well-maintained showcase. Mmm, good, right? <laughs> Artisan gelato shops are all over Italy. In Europe and the rest of the world, new artisan gelato shops continue to open and succeed. But how much does it cost to make artisan gelato? And more importantly, how much profit is there to be made? To answer these questions, all you need to do is sign up for Carpigiani Gelato University. In our classroom and labs, you will learn how to make artisan gelato, create recipes, discover the newest trends, and most importantly, learn the most profitable methods to manage your new gelato shop. Carpigiani Gelato University has many locations around the world. Choose the course closest to you. Carpigiani Gelato University, the school of successful gelatures.